Hi guys, it's Hoyt here, and I'm bringing you round 70. And basically, this is my strategy on Shino Numa for really high rounds. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty simple. So we're going to jump straight into a dog round. I mean, these aren't the highest I've been to. I'm still in the middle of playing. But my strategy for dog... I'm on round 74, by the way, by the way. Um, there's all these dogs... But you have Betty's that kill them instantly on every round, and you have the Wonder Waffle. So this is this is how I do it for this. Now, for all you people thinking hacks, lies, you know, Shino Numa has only 24 zombies around, and it's so easy. You know, anyone could do it if they have the dodging skills. If you can dodge zombies properly, then you can do it really easily. And also, this is the first console content I've brought out for a long time. Brilliant. Because my PBR has just started working again. It's just decided to... To... Work. So, anyway. Um, I'm super excited because this is the highest I've ever been on Zombies. Like, legit. Like, I've been, I've been higher on Numa, but, like, there was this weird, like, glitch. It wasn't me insta-kill glitch. It was, like, unlimited ammo. And I don't know why. So, I got to like a thousand in like no time just using my waffle. But, um, like, that wasn't me just being sad. It was literally like 15 seconds around. So, I thought I might as well do that. It, it was brilliant. Someone someone can work that out in the comments for maths of how long that took. And I, and I got it on like round 30 or something, this glitch. It was really weird. So, anyway, also in this commentary I'm gonna demonstrate before the insta kill bug comes in at 208 how useless other guns are so you see I shot those zombies a decent amount of time with the PPSH the best most powerful most damage per second of a gun apart from like wonder guns so yeah I'm just gonna be running around here in circles and this is generally just what you do um, it's it's a simple strategy you know, um, this is over by the com room, I think it is. I don't know, I, I didn't play much of these old maps, so I only played Deree's back in the day. <laughs> Camping up on the catwalk, round 30, it was like, whoa, round 30. Oh my god, I only once got to round 30, and I was like, after that I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm just I'm just so beast mode. And that was with four people. So, just just imagine what, what I'm feeling like now, round 72. I know it's, I know it's Numa. But still, I'm 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 still going, still going strong. But yeah, uh, the Wonder Waffle's the only useful gun, and you only need to take three shots around because each Wonder Waffle will kill ten. Um, and it's each Wonder Waffle shot will kill ten, and there's 24 zombies around. So to definitely kill them, you need to shoot three around and just waste one Wonder Waffle shot on four zombies, which is like sad for us. So. Here's a few more zombies. Just, just, just running a simple, simple train. Now I'm hoping to get at least around 208, so I can see the insta kill bug, like legitly, because I was just using my waffle. I didn't even know about the insta kill bug before. So, yeah, this is. I'm sorry, this is so boring. I, I might um do my last one of these and just put some like crazy song over it. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, I'll probably get a clip and put an awesome song over it. But uh, this is just going to be a, like, Road to Round, whatever I get to series. Road to Round question mark. That's that's what I'm going to call it. Road to Round question mark. So I'm not aiming for anything in particular. 13, 37, 13, 37, 13, 37. But, you know, still. It would be really nice to get to 115 and 1337 at least. I mean, I think it's in this recording where I felt like I was going to die straight away. Like, uh, there was no, there was this little bit where I got stuck on this pole that's deep in the water. And just my ninjiness saved me from it. Literally, I just span around and shot him in the face with a Wonder Waffle. Took almost like critical hits, basically. It's right here, right here. Oh yeah, I, I missed, like, ninja'd out and then I shot him. I know I keep saying ninja so much, but I'm so, like, hyper. Okay, so this is the end of round 73, and now I'm going to demonstrate to you how m how much health the zombies have. I'm not going to do any mathematical sums, but you know. So, he ate some some of that, uh, PPSH. He ate two Bettys. And then he eats the rest of my PPSH. I'm not normal gone. And then, 
I start thinking, oh, I don't want, don't want to shoot him with Wonder Waffle, and I don't want to die behind a trap or cement. So then I hit him with all four of my grenades, and as you can see, the flog is um, fueled up, but I didn't want to use that. Uh, hit him with all four of them, right here, Molotovs, and then I hit him with my standard grenades. So it's like four Molotovs, he eats four more grenades. Oh, I swear some of them probably missed him, I'm such a noob. So we ate all of that, and he doesn't even look damaged. In fact, I think now that grenade just about blows his arm off. That's how strong- no, it doesn't eat- oh my god. It's scary almost. That's how strong they are, and that's how useful having a Wonder Waffle is. So then I take him into the com room. As usual. And this is like when I want to finish off a round of just like one zombie. I just take him in here, run him around. Uh, I turn on the barrier, jump through it, and bam. Round 73 over. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is not the end of the series. In a bit, guys. Bye.